Hello and welcome to this channel. I hope you enjoy the story. I'm going to try and upload each day. The Ghostly Chronicles Chapter 1 The Secluded Cottage The novelist, Clara Morgan, had grown weary of the hustle and bustle of city life. She longed for solitude, a place where she could immerse herself in the depths of her imagination and let her creativity flow freely. So, when she stumbled upon an old, secluded cottage nestled deep within the woods, she knew she had found her haven. As Clara approached the cottage, she couldn't help but marvel at its eerie charm. The cottage was an ancient structure, its timbers weathered and grey with age. Ivy crept up its walls like ghostly fingers, and the trees surrounding it seemed to whisper secrets in the wind. Chapter 2 The Mysterious Whispers Clara moved in with the hope of finding inspiration for her next novel. She spent her days writing by the crackling fireplace, her typewriter echoing through the silent halls. But as night fell, she began to hear faint whispers in the darkness, like the soft rustling of leaves. At first, Clara dismissed the sounds as mere figments of her overactive imagination. But the whispers persisted, growing louder and more distinct with each passing night. She could almost make out words cries for help, fragments of conversations, and the occasional name. Chapter 3 The Ghostly Inhabitants One moonless night, as Clara sat in her dimly lit study, she saw a flickering light in the corner of her eye. Turning her gaze toward the window, she was met with a surreal sight. The room was bathed in an otherworldly glow, and there, standing before her, were the translucent figures of two women. The spectral figures seemed to be from another era, dressed in flowing Victorian era gowns. They looked at Clara with eyes filled with sadness and longing. They were the ghostly inhabitants of the cottage, and they had their own story to tell. Chapter 4 The Tale of the Sisters The two apparitions introduced themselves as Alina and Matilda, sisters who had lived in the cottage during the nineteenth century. They had come to the cottage seeking refuge from a tumultuous world, only to meet a tragic end. Elena and Matilda had been inseparable in life, and even in death, they remained bound to the cottage. They told Clara of their love for literature and their dreams of becoming writers. But their aspirations had been stifled by the conventions of their time, and they had never seen their dreams fulfilled. As the sisters shared their story with Clara, the cottage seemed to come alive with their memories. Clara could feel their emotions, their unfulfilled desires, and their deep sense of loss. She knew that she had to help them find closure. Chapter 5 Unveiling the Mystery Over the next few weeks, Clara delved into the history of the cottage and the lives of Alina and Matilda. She uncovered old diaries and letters, piecing together the fragments of their unfinished stories. It was as if the very walls of the cottage were guiding her toward the truth. As Clara worked tirelessly to uncover the sisters' secrets, the whispers grew stronger, and the bond between the living and the dead deepened. It became clear that Alina and Matilda needed Clara's help to finally complete their stories and find peace. Chapter 6 The Final Chapter In a climactic moment, Clara finished writing the last pages of Alina and Matilda's stories, giving them the closure they so desperately sought. The moment the final words were tight, the cottage filled with an ethereal light, and the spirits of the sisters began to fade. Alina and Matilda smiled at Clara, their faces filled with gratitude, before they vanished into the unknown. The whispers that had once haunted the cottage grew still, and a profound sense of serenity settled over the once turbulent abode. Chapter 7 Clara's Legacy with the ghostly inhabitants now at peace, Clara found herself not only with the inspiration she had sought, but also with a newfound purpose. She turned the story of Alina and Matilda into a best-selling novel, ensuring that their dreams and memories would live on for generations to come. Clara continued to live in a secluded cottage, but it was no longer a place of isolation. It had become a sanctuary where stories from the past whispered in the wind and where the living and the dead coexisted in harmony, a place where the ghostly chronicles were eternally etched into the fabric of time. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.